What is going on, guys? It has been a minute, but it is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here, talking about what I'm going to be watching for the April season, the spring season of 2022. Now, before I jump into it, there's a couple things I would like to say. I've been gone for a while. I think that deserves another video as to why I've been gone for so long and why I haven't really been doing videos in general, rather than not be just be one offs or reactions or heck, even live streams. But I kind of took a break from it. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff that's still happening, that's happening in my personal life that is still affecting. But for the most part, I'm going to go see if I can get back on track. And with things that are happening in real life, I think the availability of being able to freely make videos and with enjoyment as I used to is probably going to happen. Don't know if yet because things are still changing in my personal life, which I will maybe, may or may not talk about in a separate video. Not sure. If you guys are interested, let me know. But yeah, I've been very busy the last few, quite few months. But really quickly, I wanted to talk about the last season because I'm pretty sure someone's going to say, oh, did you watch anything from the previous seasons, whether it be winter 2022 or fall 2021? And my answer is no. <laughs> Looking back at last season, I haven't even touched the second season of Kamitsu no Yaba. Not a single episode. So I don't know if that's something someone you guys would be interested in me reacting to, because I, I, I know what happens for the most part, um, because the internet exists, and <laughs> not looking at spoilers is very hard. Um, in terms of Shikeki you no know, Kyojin, uh, today is, I believe, the last episode. Yeah, today's Sunday, the 27th. I believe today is the final episode of Attack on Titan. I heard that they're changing the ending, which I heard about the ending, and I wasn't a fan of it. But I heard they're changing things up, and if that's the case, and it ends on a good note, I'll actually probably watch it. I'm, I've only, I've never been past the first season. I've, I was on the second season, and I never touched it since. Um, but the big, the big series that I'm actually very surprised, and I actually actively read it, is My Dress Up Darling, with an 8.47, which is very highly rated. I'm very glad that. The series that I randomly picked up, um, I think when it was only like on chapter two or three, um, is getting as much love from the community as I thought it deserved. Because I knew a lot of people, um, a lot of outsiders from the outside in were going to be like, ugh, what does this fan say? Fan service cosplay crap. Uh, Rom-coms in my, in my uh, shoujo season. How dare you? Um, but another show, there were some good shows I heard from a lot of things. I heard, um, Sabi Kui was pretty good from a lot of people. I know Vinitas, I've been, a lot of people watching that. Um, I didn't really, again, never, didn't really follow anything. And actually, looking at Fall 2021, did I watch anything? Not a fan of Komi-san uh, Komi because I have a thing of, like, I, I don't like when rom-coms go for so, so long because I've been through so many of them. Uh, Mishoku Tensei is on my list. I heard Tact Op was good up until the end. Uh, okay, well, I mean, the Mugen Train, I saw I saw the movie, so I, I didn't watch that. So I guess I technically watched it. I I, I don't know. Ranking of Heroes, I've heard it was, it was great. I heard that last episode was kind of eh. Not sure. I did... I'll take the back. I did watch 86. 86 I did watch. I watched it with my roommates, a roommate, and thought it was phenomenal. I pure completely worth that 8.71 rating highly recommend it 86 was a feast to behold but getting back on topic let's talk about the shows from this season i'm going to be watching it's actually really easy because this is the first nine columns and <laughs> three of them are in a row <laughs> it's actually kind of funny um i'll talk about the five that i'm interested in the most in i'll just talk about them and then i'll list my uh i'll list what i'm looking forward to most Again, the first three, I'm looking forward to. Tate no Yusha, or Rise of the Shield Hero Season 2. I don't remember when we got Rise of the Shield Hero. In fact, I'm actually going to look that up. Rising. Yeah, it came out in... Wait, when did this come out? It came out in 2019, really? It only came out three years ago? I thought it came out earlier. Wow. 2019. Uh, Tate no Yusha came out. I thought it was a very solid, had some ups and downs. I still think the first three episodes are by far some of the best that I've seen around that time for this type of show. Um, 
quality did not maintain that, but it was still a very fun and enjoyable show for the most part. So we were even waiting for a long time for this show to come out with a second season. And then the third season was announced immediately after the second season was announced, which was a bit odd, but I guess that means they've been, were putting in productions, but a lot of things happened. COVID. Thanks, China. <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of things have happened. But no, Tata no Yusha, or Rise of the Shield, Hero Season 2. Obviously, I'm definitely going to be watching it. I need to rewatch first season, so maybe I'll listen to it at work or something. But I, I know I remember most of it, almost all of it. Now, the, of course, very next one. As you guys know, I've watched and reacted to both seasons of Kaguya-sama of Season 1 and Season 2. Laughed hysterically. It is one of the few times I will ever say that the adaptation does better from the manga. And I think it's due to the visual comedy and the visual storytelling that makes the show as funny, as humorous, as unique as it is. Um, and I'm wondering if we're going to be seeing certain chapters that I'm not going to spoil for those who haven't seen it or read it in this season. And I really hope we do, because if it is, we're going to be gaining many, many, many um, awards on the anime Reddit page. Because I actually follow anime Reddit the anime sub reddit and i get to figure out what shows are really popping it's kind of how i figure out about 86 because i didn't really know much about it and it was getting awards left and right but the very next one is one that i have claimed that it's going to become a great show if it ever got adapted and if it does get adapted it is going to be the show of the season unless it was stuck in attack on titan this was way before i didn't i, I, I knew about the schedule spy x family Spy X Family is going to be the next Shonen with so many people looking forward to it uh, every single episode. It is a great show with good action, good comedy, good, good slicks of life. It's an all-rounder of a show. Romance, hit or miss, but that's not the kind of show you're looking for. This series is going to be phenomenal. I cannot wait to watch this. It actually comes out a day before my birthday, so... <laughs> looking forward to it um again komi sama don't really care for uh characters getting together after like two three hundred chapters so I, i'm passing on it i heard it what people liked it so good for you guys if you enjoyed it not my cup of tea I've, i don't want to read 300 chapters to see uh couples get together or however many chapters it is i know it's still going on so and it, it's pretty popular and if you like it good for you data live haven't seen a, seen an episode at all, so that's a pass for me. Now, Shikamaru, or Shikamaru, I don't know why I'm thinking of Naruto. Uh, Shikimori is not just a cootie. I read this. Um, I, I dropped it halfway, not due to, like, not caring about it or disliking it. It just one of those, it was what it said on the tin. The main character, the main heroine, I guess in this case, was uh, is a cool and cute character. Um, especially how they made her. There's something the, about the way it was. She was drawn specifically. She had these moments that bounced between the two personalities very well. And not that I had no qualms with it. I want to see how they do this animated. Um, I don't think it's going to be the biggest. See, uh, it's not even come close to probably the top three that I mentioned. You know, depending since it's such a drastic difference and depending on the uh, popularity or the people who like to tend to watch these things, it could rival Tata no Yusha in terms of rating, I feel like, between the people watching the series. Um, if you like rom-coms, I think you're going to like this. And it's going to be probably as rated around... Shonen lovers with uh, Rays of the Shield Hero, if you get what I mean. And the last one, I just this is technically the last one, not purely due to the fact that it is my least looking forward to, but it's the fact that I never finished it, but I did enjoy the first season. Science Found Love, so I try to prove it, season two, or R equals one, sign equals sign equals zero. I think that's what is there. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do good in math. I know. My white side kicks in when it comes to math. My Asian side did not help me. But Science Fell in Love, and I tried to prove it. You guys remember I was... I, I think I dropped it on the last couple episodes. But I from the episodes, I think it just was due to the fact that I think I just kind of was going through a lot of stuff. And I just wasn't wanting to react to a lot of things. So I kind of just dropped it. I do feel kind of bad, but I've never seen a pe episode pass where I dropped it. But I did enjoy my 
I did enjoy it while it went on. So it was it wasn't the lack of uh, enjoyment of the series whatsoever. Absolutely, um, the opposite. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But science found love, so I tried to prove it. Season two, looking forward to it. So if I were to put in a ranking, <laughs> funny thing is, it's almost in, almost in order. Oh man, this is actually hard for the top. Two, it's actually very hard. Science Fair and Love So Try to Prove It is the last place because, again, I need to finish first season. If, it, if Honestly, if I had finished first season, it would actually be in fourth spot. Fifth, fourth spot, though, is going to Shiki Mori's Not Just a Cutie. Um, again, I read it. I know what I'm going to be expecting. Probably they're going to end the sh uh, series right where I ended, probably. I think I only got to, like, 50, 60 chapters? I don't remember exactly. Or maybe it was near the 100 chapters. Not not really much to say on that one. Third, Rise of the Shield Hero, Season 2. Which is interesting because of how much I thoroughly was looking forward to. It's just that these, in terms of me, for me personally, this series season is stacked. I plan on reacting to all five of these. With the exception, okay, maybe, okay, four or five. Shikimori and Science Fell in Love, not sure. But the top three, I'm definitely going to be reacting to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep on a schedule, especially with all my life things going on, which, again, I'll get into later. Um, I'm not sure if I can get to all of them on a time and matter, but I'll try. I'll definitely try for you guys. Especially if some things happen that I'm being made aware of. Anyway. Now, second spot, I never thought I'd actually say this because I always thought that if I ever saw the continuation of Kaguya-sama, it would never go in anything higher in the first spot. But unfortunately, Spike's family takes the number one spot and Kaguya-sama takes the second. And I have a feeling I know exactly what's going to happen in season three of Kaguya-sama and still I'm going to put it in number two simply because I want to see Spy X Family, and I cannot wait. I loved Spy X Family. I'm very far behind in the manga. I'm currently catching up, which I probably shouldn't do even though I'm rewatching it because I'm going to be watching it, but it is what it is. But Kaguya-sama is in second place because I know it's going to happen. I'm knowing I'm going to be laughing. I'm knowing I'm going to be laughing so hard I'm crying probably in some cases, and I know I'm going to have heartfelt moments. I know this. But I need that action field and the slice of life and the all around. And I, Spy X Family is just going to be that. I think it's because I've been reading Spy X Family and I've been looking forward to seeing this adaptation for so damn long that I can't wait to see it. In terms of level, they're right here. Right here. There's just the slight, slightest in between the two. But yeah. So, in order... Spike's Family, Kaguya-sama Season 3, Shield Hero Season 2, Shiki Mori's on a Cutie, and not just a Cutie, and Science Fell in Love, so I tried to prove it. I looked at all of these. Those are the ones that stood out. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some ones. I never. I know this is a manga or a four coma. Not really sure, but don't know much about it. And the other ones, I don't know much about either. Um, if I didn't say anything, it's purely because I just don't know much about them. I've heard of Tomodachi Game. That might be on the list, but in terms of everything else, no. If I was talking about movies, though, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. Um, go to Banoha no Yomai movie. I don't have the Nino Bible on me. It is currently... Actually, it's actually on me, but I don't have it open to the page. Nino Best Girl. Just thought I'd put that out there. Um, However, another one that I am looking forward to is Bubble. Weird-ass name for it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll explain why the why in the title, but Bubble, yeah. The, uh, if you haven't seen the uh, if you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. Absolutely check it out. But that is my list. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to, and for my fellow reactors, what are you guys are reacting to? Thank you guys so much for sticking with me this entire time. Um, a lot of things have been happening. Some things that are very, not really good. Some things that are really good. So it's a mixture of both things. And I'm going to hopefully be in a situation where things are changed for the better. I've always been a creature of habit. And unfortunately, it was not doing me any good. 
and it looks like hopefully if the changes that are going to happen in my life come to fruition it's going to be for the better so hopefully i won't be as tired as i constantly am um hopefully I'll be a lot more energetic but yeah thank you guys for sticking around with me for so long and hopefully i'll, get, I'll see you guys soon M again maybe i'll make a video explaining everything that happened or maybe not i don't know all that matters is i'm going to really try hard to come back and make more videos and just come back i know it's been a while so my views are going to drastically drop and yeah but i want to come back i know a lot of people were waiting for me to come back so here's the hope and i can actually stay back <laughs> but yeah, anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching let me go know what you guys are looking forward to for this next season and i'll see you guys either in an update video or explanation video or a reaction video until next time see ya